For this third and final deleted level, um, what we call the boar hunt sequence, this was a sequence pretty late in the game. It was right after the whole Seattle Abby sequence where uh, Abby spares Ellie. And then we wanted to come back into Ellie's story, but keep it a bit mysterious of how much time has passed, where is Ellie now? So we're coming in on Ellie uh, and she's following a trail of blood. And we wanted to mirror in a way the deer hunt sequence from the first game, but this time do it with a boar. And there's something with Ellie that now she's, she can't let go of this violence. She's pursuing it um, even against this innocent animal. This was another opportunity to show how the violence that Ellie has experienced, the violence that she witnessed being uh, afflicted onto Joel is still sticking with her. And she's still uh, experiencing these PTSD moments. This was a sequence that was pretty far along and was cut pretty late in production. Parts of it are still really rough, but the gameplay, the building blocks were all there. I think you'll have fun to see, like, a, again, a rough, unfinished sequence um, of, that you can play. You can see all the way to the end and including a cinematic that we end up cutting. And the remnants of the sequence ended up being mentioned in Ellie's journal. So this part of the, the story that we developed still made its way into the game as kind of optional stuff that you could read about, but here you get to experience it. So as a reminder, this is pretty rough, months away from being finished, uh, but you get to see it now. So the boar hunt was one of the hardest levels for me to work on. It was a huge challenge with the systems that we had, and we kept trying, but it never felt quite right. Originally, the level happened after the Jackson Festival, which also got cut, but before Farm. Once the festival got cut, it became the prologue to Farm. The intended experience is that we jump forward in time after the fight with Abby in the theater. We don't know where Dina is. We likely assume she's dead, because she was just bleeding out. Ellie is alone, her hair is short, so maybe this is the future or the present. And she's hunting. Hunting who? Abby still? In early iterations of the fight, it was more arena-like. The player slowly whittles down the boar's health. Ellie gets more visceral and more vicious. We get a little worried about her. As the boar gets weaker, more panicked, more feral, and we start feeling sympathetic to the boar was the hope. Uh, in all of these iterations, especially of these wider areas, it required custom AI and scripting to make sure it continued to feel organic as an animal, but we really needed it to do specific stuff. It needed to be able to close distances really, really quickly, it needed to charge to attack, but we wanted the feeling of hunting, so we needed to track it down from afar. And we also needed to discourage the player from attacking the boar when it's that close, or it would kind of turn into this melee kerfuffle. How do we do this in our world while keeping the boar believable? In early iterations of the fight, it was more arena-like. The player slowly whittles down the boar's health. Ellie gets more visceral and more vicious. We get a little worried about her. As the boar gets weaker, more panicked, more feral, and we start feeling some... We must have gone through five or six iterations of the boar fight and all, and every single time it changed pretty drastically. We split it into clear phases, where one was like all long range. We tried another where you're getting close and you get the jump on it quite literally. You're jumping off of a rock <laughs> to attack it. Uh, and then finally, we tried a bunch where you almost sort of uh, go around a bunch of trailers and try and, try and wrestle it. We uncovered after some time that taking down a boar over several phases felt very laborious and a little dramatic. It was comically long. It felt too boss-like, uh, a little too gamey. We decided to cut the first few phases and we opted for a cold open after the boar had already been hurt off screen. So that allowed us to focus on feeling like we're closing in on prey and to introduce the boar when it was at its most dangerous. Already hurt, already feral, much too close for comfort. And so the thinking was it would bring us more into Ellie's mindset. Is this really hunting for food or is she hunting for some other reason? The gas station was built to highlight the boar's destructiveness. 
Since it's cramped, the bore feels larger. We also feel traction, though perhaps it's stuck with us. When it charges, it gets to us quickly, so we must be on our toes. This made it more aligned with Ellie's sort of hunting for trouble mindset. Listening became more important, as well as moving around slowly so it didn't hear you. Could you spot it before it saw or heard you? And could you get a shot off quickly enough so you could dodge out of the way? Or is the shot worth the cost after? It feels like a gamble. By the end of the fight, everything would likely be in shambles, the bow would burst through the back, and Ellie would follow it and finally enact revenge. The boar kill was supposed to be anything but glorious. With the boar whimpering at the back of the gas station after Ellie's relentless hunt. After this, hearing the drone that we kind of come to associate with Ellie's trauma, we would hard cut to the stream where she's washing her hands and holding rabbits that she hunted, about to return to Dina. And there would be no mention of the boar. Done. The boar kill was supposed to be anything but glorious. 